Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap Session for Wednesday, May the 24th, 2017. My name is Doug McKay. I am the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning we get together in these live go-to sessions to take a look at the market macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and then we drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and our hypotheses for the day. This is a subscription service, so you're interested in checking it out. Please send me an email, quantumlyfutures at gmail.com. There's no website, there's no blog. We do not uh, do this for commercial gain. Uh, we do this live every day in the go-to. Then we do uh, live trading and analysis during the course of the uh, RTH trading uh, zone. Please read through the disclaimer. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results in any trades you see in Quantum Leap. Are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. Okay, so taking a look at yesterday. Uh, yesterday, uh, our hypothesis one was a rotation, responsive sellers down uh, to test the range high and somewhere between the range high and 92. Uh, we were looking for initiative buyers to step in, rotate us up, and take us up into that 98.50. Hypo three was a continuation sideways pattern of chopping between 98 or 97, I think I said, and, uh, and 90 area, uh, and basically fighting the, uh, the range high from the prior day. Basically, we had hypo 1 play into hypo 3, and then we went sideways. Very good-looking Gaussian distribution, accepting value higher outside of the prior value uh, area. Uh, if you take a look at the, uh, the composite, you can see that uh, we've come up and we've had four gap up days. And, you know, now we're sitting around this two-day microcomposite uh, VPOC right around the 98.50 and, uh, and trying to hold here again. This is the last place they tried to hold value before the breakout day, okay, and that, uh, and that moved down to the longer time frame micro positive VPOC, which is around 23.56 area. Um, 2,400 uh, is uh, on tap for the day. Uh, we will test it. I would find it very uh, unlikely that we don't tap into it at least. Uh, we still have that, uh, that zipper measured move that has not been discounted. It is still valid. We needed to break. This was a zipper measured move right here. We needed to break below the uh, the 88 area for it to uh, violate and we've uh, basically come up and we're just balancing out and accepting value higher this is what looks like this on the profile where you get this uh, you know I call it the fugly boxy profile this is an ugly looking uh, profile that is very boxy and we can trade back and forth in this uh, you know this four four or five point range very easily because there's no real determined value within this we did just get a VPOC shift up uh, our VPOC shifted up to 98.75 so it's basically in line with this two-day microcomposite VPOC and we're trying to hold around that. Uh, there's nothing to lean against, okay, in this boxy area until we get down to the 94.50 area, 94.75 to 92.75. Key line in the sand over under is still going to be that 90.75, 90.50 area. And below that, we'd be looking for a move back into the uh, 87.50 and 80 four and a quarter 83.75 area. Key line in the sand is still going to be down at the 23.75.50 area. Uh, important notes, uh, the 2400 is a tenual number. Uh, it's probably going to get chopped through a couple times today, but look for that initial target on the zipper measured move uh, at 2475. And of course, we've got our all-time high just above at the 2404.50. So taking a look at the uh, the macro to the micro, 
trying to do this very quickly today because we've got, uh, 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 you know, Draghi speaking right now. Uh, I use my paper money here with a simple candlestick chart and 9 EMA, 20 SMA. I'm looking to see where we are in the uh, trend. You can see the trend is still very much intact on the monthly. You know, we're close to being violated. The, uh, the trend is back intact after testing the, the uh, 20 SMA last week, and we're coming up near the all-time highs. Trend is up on the weekly. On the daily, we took back everything that we lost and trading near the all-time highs. We definitely have a trend uh, continuation pattern there. On the four-hour, you can see great slope, good so uh, separation. Trend doesn't get violated until or challenged until we get 9530 uh, area and not uh, violated until we get below the 8850 on the four hour. On the one hour, you can see we're just creeping up. There's a little bit of a uh, cup and handle uh, pattern here. Uh, let's just see if it's valid. I don't like how they got this new drawings, uh, drawing set up. That is a valid cup and handle. Let's see if it. Uh, what the measured move is on it. So the uh, measured move is twenty four oh two and a quarter. Trend is up on the uh, on the on the one hour going to the thirty minute. Again, there's that same pattern on the thirty minute. Trend is up on the thirty minute, fifteen minute. Okay, we're coming back and testing the uh, the trend right now. More of a consolidation pattern here. There's the cup and handle on the fifteen minute and going to the five minute. Again, there's the cup and handle. And uh, we tested the 20. We're below the uh, the uh, the nine. Uh, so sideways consolidation trend is being challenged right now on the five minute. The key with these cup and handles is you've got to wait for the breakout. Don't try to front run them. They can fail. Uh, all patterns have failure uh, capacity. You don't want to front run them. You use them for destinations. All right, so taking a look at the overnight, oh, I suppose we should take a look at the news too. We do have uh, Fed minutes today, that's the big one. Uh, we do have Draghi speaking right now, I don't know what he's saying. Nine o'clock, we've got uh, HBI uh, month over month. 10 o'clock, we've got the Bank of Canada rate uh, and existing home sales, 10.30 crude, but the big one will be uh, FOMC minutes at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern. <clears throat> and uh, that's our news for the day. Be careful. We could make a move early and then go sideways. Uh, overnight inventory is uh, about, uh, you know, 60% net short. It's, it's almost neutral in my mind, uh, but, uh, you know, we are accepting value higher now, and we're right on top. We'll, we've got a, uh, a weak high here on the uh, on the Globex with a triple top up here at 99 and a quarter with the 99.50 from yesterday right there okay to break and our uh, measured moves our zipper measured move and uh, the cup and handle that we just put I'm going to put the cup and handle measured move here at 02 and a quarter All right, our overnight low is 94.75. So we held yesterday's uh, range low. Our overnight high so far is 99 and a quarter. But I'll tell you, we've been doing this uh, more uh, often than not. 
we're kind of, we're likely going to get an expansion of oops, not open. We're likely going to get a expansion of the uh, of the Globex high, either make and break or can, uh, a further expansion before the RTH session. There's nothing I can do. I can only do my work now and then make the adjustments. 98.50 is the overnight VPOC, which is sitting right on the value area high from the prior day. And because of the boxiness, I don't take uh, the uh, the LVNs. Uh, into too much strength. There is one right here at the midpoint at 97. Uh, it is just below the uh, the IB high from yesterday, so I'm going to use the IB high and that LVN for a push down into the 95, uh, 75, 96 area uh, naked VPOC. Uh, below that, we don't need any of this, so let me get rid of that. Expand this out. We have an LVN at the 90, uh, 50. There's really there's 94, 75, 94 and a quarter will be what I'll be looking at. Then 92, and then my over underline at 90, 50. And then below that, the 8750 uh, target. And then all these targets below all remain the same. Uh, our daily ATR is running at 1558 for the full session daily ATR range. So off of the uh, current low overnight of 9475, our upside daily. ATR target when I say the low was my mind is slipping 94 94 75 and a quarter All right, and off of the current high overnight, twenty-three eighty-three seventy-five, right at our uh, our uh, microcomposite VPOC, right around here. All right, so those are the levels. What's my hypothesis? My main hypothesis is an open auction, just in range, just out of range, responsive selling. I mean, it's scary. It's the same thing over and over again as we move up. Now, we do have news today, so we've got to be careful. But this is a strong uh, upward pattern right now near the all-time highs. So even if we uh, do roll over, I'm expecting to push uh, into uh, new all-time highs today. Uh, Sorry. All right. Hypo one, open auction in range or just out of range, responsive selling down to the 97 to the 95, possibly even the 94, 75. Initiative buyers stepping in and rotating us up into our main target above at 2475, chopping the 24 uh, and pushing up into 2402 and coming up and closing somewhere up here in the mid-2400. That's hypo one. Hypo two, and again, these hypos lead up to the news, because after the news, we don't know. So uh, news will revalue the market, and we could make a bigger move up or a big retrace down. I'm talking about going into the news. So hypo one, move down, find initiative buyers, rotate up, and chop around in the 2400s and into the news. Hypo 2, open auction in range or just out of range, a push up into the 2402 area to 2404, roll over and come down into the 9475 area, and to 9475, 96, and go sideways 
into the news. And then based on the news, uh, push up or down. Uh, hypo 3 is uh, a sideways con uh, continuation pattern uh, or consolidation pattern and chopping between 2402 and 20, uh, 2395 and just going sideways into the news without making a, a big move. And then hypo 4 is a open test drive or an open drive test down to the uh, 97 or not even that far, maybe even just the 98, uh, find initiative buyers and rip us up into the 2404 area, okay, and then push up into the 2410 and uh, go into the news up in the uh, 2405 to 2410 area. And then there's going to be an alternative, and that's going to be a open auction failure to break out or just a fake breakout, tip, maybe uh, dip into the 2400 and then roll over and buyers take, uh, sellers take strong control, take us right down into the 94 area and then fail and come down and come into this 83 to 85 area and go into the news down here, back in the overall balance uh, down here. Those are my main hypotheses. Take a look at gold. You can see that we're back uh, trading in around the uh, composite VPOC at 12.54.80. Uh, Our overnight low, we dipped down to uh, 47.6. So we came down uh, into uh, this distribution area right around here, and we've rotated back up, and we're chopping around uh, the 52.53 area right now, trying to get and hold back inside of this uh, value area of this mic composite value area low is uh, is 51.8 or 52, and we're chopping right there with a major magnet. Uh, I pointed out the uh, cup and handle pattern. Let me just bring that up for you on the bigger time frame. We have this cup and handle pattern right here. Okay, with measured moves uh, up into the uh, the 1295 area is the primary target. The first area is 8370. Um, so uh, depending on what the news is today, I expect to, to chop around in this area until the uh, Fed announcement, <coughs> and then either pop up to the 66 area or break down to the uh, 39 to 40 area, uh, and that's my expectations for uh, for gold, uh, but, you know, waiting for the Fed announcement. Anyway, that's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.